Today's video is about an incredible testimony of Padre Pio's first spiritual daughter, which was used in his canonization process. Stay tuned. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. Today's story is about Giovanna Rizzani, Padre Pio's first spiritual daughter. What makes this testimony particularly interesting is that Giovanna's testimony was one of the key pieces of evidence used in Padre Pio's canonization process. Listen to this. On January 18, 1905, Giovanni Battista Rizzani, Giovanna's father, was laying on his deathbed in his villa in Udine in northern Italy. His wife, Leonilda, who was heavily pregnant, was by his side taking care of him. At one point, the dogs started barking, so Leonilda went out to calm them down. As she was outside, the labor pains began. Shortly after, she gave birth to her daughter, Giovanna. Leonilda gathered her strength, took the child in her arms, and climbed the stairs to her husband's room. Her husband died just a few moments later. However, something unusual happened during her childbirth. Leonilda recalls that during labor, she saw a Capuchin friar in front of her and in the corridors of the villa. But she wasn't sure if this was a hallucination or a real vision. Now, at the same time of these events, hundreds of miles away, in the convent of St. Elia Appianisi, young brother Pio, who was just 18 years old, experiences something amazing. He wrote about it in his diary. Listen to this. A few days ago, an unusual thing happened to me. I was in the choir with brother Atanasio at about 11 p.m., on January 18, 1905, when I found myself far away in Udine, where a father was dying and a child was being born. The Virgin Mary told me, I am entrusting this child to you. One day she will come to you, but you will meet her first in St. Peter's. After that, I found myself back in the choir. Wow! How beautiful! Our Lady took that child under her personal care. Here's a photograph of Padre Pio's entry. This valuable piece of paper was later given to Giovanna by Father Agostino, and years later, handwriting experts confirmed that this was indeed Padre Pio's writing. But let's go back a step. Shortly after her husband's death, Leonilda moved to Rome with her baby daughter to live with her parents. Seventeen years passed, and the year is now 1922. The now teenager Giovanna is having doubts about her faith, so she decides to go to confession at St. Peter's Basilica. But when she arrived, it was almost closing time, and the sacristan suggested she come back tomorrow. However, as she was leaving, she saw a Capuchin priest enter a confessional. So she jumped right in to speak with the priest. They spoke about her doubts and troubles, and Giovanna was comforted by his words. After receiving absolution, Giovanna waited outside the confessional to thank the priest. But the sacristan showed up and, somewhat agitated, opened the door to the confessional and said to her, Don't you see there's no one here? And indeed, there was no one. A year later, Giovanna heard about a Capuchin friar who lived up in the mountains in San Giovanni Rotondo. 
she felt a strong urge to meet him, so she decided to make a pilgrimage to the convent. When she arrived at San Giovanni Rotondo, she stood in a crowd hoping to see the famous friar. As Padre Pio walked by, he suddenly stopped in front of her and said, Giovanna, I know you. You were born the day your father died. And then he walked away. As you can imagine, Giovanna was left completely speechless. The next morning, Giovanna went to Padre Pio for confession. My daughter, he said, you have finally come. I've been waiting for you for so many years. Father, you must be mistaken, said Giovanna. This is my first time at San Giovanni Rotondo. I never knew you existed until a few days ago. No, I'm making no mistake, he said. Last summer at St. Peter's, you asked a Capuchin priest to help you with your doubts about your faith. I was that priest. After a short pause, Padre Pio continued, Giovanna, the Virgin Mary took me to Udine just before you were born, and I witnessed your father's death. Our Lady informed me that his wife was about to give birth to a girl and that she was placing this child under my care. My daughter, you are my responsibility. One day you will be present at my death. Giovanna then burst into tears and asked Padre Pio, Father, since I belong to you, take care of me. Tell me what to do. Should I become a nun? Padre Pio replied, You don't have to. Instead, you will often come to San Giovanni Rotondo. I will take care of your soul and you will know the will of God. Giovanna then left the confessional in tears. From that moment on, her life was transformed. Years later, Father Agostino discovered Padre Pio's handwritten account describing the birth of a baby girl while her father was dying in 1905. He gave the original document to Giovanna, who then gave photocopies to the convent superior. She was later called to testify to the truthfulness of these events, confirming Padre Pio's knowledge of occurrences happening far away from him. She also became a Third Order Franciscan, and she was the only woman present at Padre Pio's death, as Padre Pio had foretold. But that's a story for a different time. In conclusion, Giovanna Rizani's remarkable testimony about her life and connection with Padre Pio sheds light on the extraordinary bond between saints and the faithful. It highlights the beauty of being entrusted from birth to a saint, a stark contrast to the modern world's emphasis on individual freedom. In today's hedonistic world, where many feel adrift, Giovanna Rizani's tale reminds us of the value of spiritual connections and guidance in our lives. Thank you for listening. Please do share this video to help our channel grow. And please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories. Or our playlist, Padre Pio Thoughts for the Day. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You'll find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.